to my channel. Today I have a hair tutorial for you. So, you are probably thinking, Hannah, it's not very like you to have your hair up, and you would be correct. I do sit and read the comments on my videos, and in 2015, towards the end, people were getting pretty sick of me having my hair the same way every video. And that's fair enough. So, as you know, I don't normally do these kind of creative up do's. Um, not because I don't like them and I think that they look gorgeous on everyone else but it's always kind of scared me to be quite honest to do updos I feel like with my hair I can really like hide behind it you know I've got this big thick mane of hair but I thought it's 2016 new year new me let's put a bit more effort and thought into my hair so I've been watching the got to be hair tutorials that are on the Schwarzkopf YouTube channel um, and I have really been following those for inspiration on how to do my hair. They make everything so easy. I've just filmed this hair look without using a mirror. Um, that's how easy it is to recreate these hairstyles. So I will leave the link to the video that I use, which is the pin-up one down below. In the video, they have a flower on the side, but flowers aren't really my thing, especially not for like the winter months. So I just decided to take that away and dishevel a little, uh, uh, <laughs> and dishevel it a little bit more to suit it more to my style. So anyway, yes, here is the tutorial. Enjoy. So as you can see, my hair is damp. I washed my hair, combed it through, towel dried it. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the Got to Be All Star Styling Treatment. And um, this has 10 in one benefits. Stuff like anti-frizz, anti-humidity, volume, shine, strength, thickness, literally everything that you could want from your hair. So this is just a great thing to apply before you do anything, not even just this look. Anytime you want to style your hair, put a bit of this in. So I'm going to put a couple of pumps into the palm of my hand or onto the fingers, whatever you feel more comfortable with. You know, rub it in and then work it all through the hair. I'm going to go and just sweep it through using my fingertips right down to the ends it smells so good so that is all in now and then I'm just gonna blow dry my hair so I have just finished drying my hair now I'm moving on to the got to be powderful powder if you haven't seen these before where have you been this is my favourite thing to use at the moment. It's kind of like back combing, but without the back combing part. It just gives you that lift at the root without you damaging your hair by, you know, tearing it to shreds. It gives you the most incredible volume. If you know me all, you know that I like a bit of volume, a bit of body. Uh, flat hair to me is just the worst thing in the world. So this is great for me. You can either put this onto your fingers and then do it or you can put it straight into the roots. And so for this I'm going to do both just to show you how to do both. But to put it in the roots I just kind of start separating my hair and then tip it in and rub and then get another section. So I definitely recommend rubbing as you go. Section it, get it in the roots and then rub it and then section it again. Like don't put it all over your hair and then start rubbing it in like do it as you go. I'm going to put a bit on my fingertips like this. Make sure that it's like all over your fingertips and then I literally just go into the root like this and scrub. Ooh. Plus this means that you get to give yourself a head massage at the same time which is always nice. It smells like hairdressers in here. Ta-da! This is super easy to do. Honestly I'm doing it without a mirror so if I can do it without a mirror you can do it with a mirror. First thing that you're going to do is take two bubbles. I prefer to use the little ones for this look. You're going to split your hair into two sections and put those two sections in bubbles. And you just want to go from about where the temples are and make sure that you're doing the top of your hair how you want it to look because you're not really going to change this bit much. So that's my first bubble. Going in. Is it weird that I'm even feeling this? This look? Anyway, I move this ponytail out of the way, sometimes it's just easy to flip it over. Like this. Tight behind your ears, like quite low, don't tie this high. This makes it look like you've got a really long ponytail. Anyway, moving on. So with the top ponytail, what you're going to do is loosen it a little bit. Get your fingers in there and create a hole. Then you're going to flip this hair up and you're going to put all of this hair through the hole so that it comes out the other side. Take both pieces of hair and start wrapping it around your fingers. 
you know what I mean by that, like get your two fingers at the end, roll it, roll it, roll it until you feel it get to the top bobble, then you start gripping it into place. Then, because you know that I'm a fan of messy styles, I will start pulling this apart a little bit to make it a bit bigger and just keep gripping as I go because as I pull it more bits are going to come flying out. So graceful and elegant looking but you know me I like to dishevel things a little bit. Grab my powder again, start pulling out little wispy bits at the front work that in with my fingers into the roots just to pull it apart a little bit and because you've still got it on your fingers if you do something wrong or you pull too much hair out like this you should just be able to use your fingers to scrape it back into place like that look how easy that went back i wore this hair out the other night actually to um on a date with elliot he just looked at me and he went you look classier than normal is that a compliment? I don't know. Then I'm going to finish this look right in a bit of hairspray. This is the Happy Hour 24 Hour Hairspray by Got To Be. I love this packaging, like obsessed with the ombre effect. This is a really good, like strong hold, I think in fact it's extreme hold, um, to keep your style in place. So it's perfect for a look like this where you've actually got it up. I would wear this as a perfume, no jokes. It smells like Smells a bit like pina colada. It's nice anyway. So with this look, I would probably wear this on a formal event. It's not really a hairstyle that I would wear casually. So I would wear this with like a little LBD or a tight bodycon dress and pair it with either a smoky eye or a gorgeous like berry red lipstick. I think that would look absolutely lovely. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please let me know in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.